Oh, done it. Right, this one is not easy to get in. This is the tower. It's like right next to one of the busiest roads in Dubai. I need to get in here. Is it dead? Yeah, it's dead. Sick. Okay, that went better than I thought. I know for a fact that there's a security guard around that corner between those two buildings. But when I saw him, he was just like on his phone. This is good because there's a lot of stuff to hide behind. This is kind of a race against time because the time is 5.20 sunsets at like 6, quarter past 6 and this is not a small building it's dead in here so that little room there is where the security guard is I'm gonna go through here Outside. Whoa. What is this? Oh man. This is like a walkway that connects these this building to this building. Sweet. Twentieth floor. Getting there. This one sounds like it's open. Yes. Yes. Finally, an open door. Nice. This little kitchen, living room, balcony. Oh, yes, fresh air. Whew. Twentieth floor. See that little hut? That's the security guard's office. He's sat in there, chilling. There's the Burj. The sun is going down. Can't quite see it, but I think we've probably got like 20 minutes of light left. And I want to get up to the top and climb to the top of the crane, which is one of those ones. So like. One of the big angular ones, the fun ones. So hopefully we get enough time to do it. If the sun goes down, then I guess I'll be climbing in the dark, which will be interesting. So we're at floor 34. But if I look up, I can still see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about 15 more sets of stairs. Bloody hell, this is killing me this one. So, we're on the 46th floor now. Only a few from the top. Uh, before I get there, I just want to show you this view. The view from the other side of the building with the sunset. Check this out. How incredible is that? One of the many benefits of doing stuff like this is you get to see stuff like that. Oh. Right, let's get to the top before it's too late. Starting to get these weird little mini kind of staircases now, which is usually a sign that we are there. Yes. 
49. So, 50 floors in this building. Whole lot of nothing. Let's have a look. Let's see what we got. Solid. Yeah. Oh, that's a big drop. Hey. So this is the top of the building. But what I want to do is get to the top of the crane. Now I'm looking at it. It looks quite tough looks very steep let's have a look these things look fun ding 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 they're all bolted in pretty solid let's have a go yes they are solid sweet don't break ah oh. It wobbles, but it doesn't break. Stick to the middle. God, it's good to be up the top, finally. All right. Oh, it's a bit of a sketchy jump. The trouble with this is that this crane is like you can see it's covered in dust and I can't check it so I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna jump at something that I don't know is safe it sucks because I want to do it but these things have to be checked like you can't just jump into things that you're not fully aware of and now I just need to figure out a way to get across so what is that how many one two three I'm gonna go down three levels and I hope that there's an open apartment because it didn't look like there was before. This is pretty cool. Nice safe gap here between the scaffolding. Finally. Yeah, at the crane. It's amazing because you can see the sun setting and the reflection of the birds. See the fountains going off. Whew. I think that means that it's seven o'clock. Six o'clock, my bad. The sun is almost gone. And we are finally at the crane. It's, now we just need to get to the top. Oh, finally, some cold air. Oh, wow. That is nuts. And that is a very, very steep crane. I don't think I've ever climbed a crane this steep. It might be safest if I just go straight up here instead of going on the inside. See, it's got like this kind of walkway. That's good if the, if the crane's kind of flat, but when it's this vertical, it just gets in the way of all these possible steps and holds. This is probably the easiest way to get there. There's the train. Whee! These are really slippery. You are not secure. This is that. Under this leg. In fact, I'm getting my right leg around there. There we go. Now, I can get my leg up here. And we're off. This is actually super grippy, which is rare. Remember the one I did uh, in the marina, the world's tallest residential building one. I'll link to it. 
um, it was covered in like this layer of just greasy shit it was like someone had spread margarine all over it <sighs> it was so bad all right let's get past this um is this bolted on yeah okay Sun's about to go, but it won't get dark for a, a little longer, which is good. Okay, now the bars are getting a little further apart. But still grippy, which makes it super easy. Here comes the wind. Getting there. This is one of those things that rolls. <clears throat> you do not want to grab that without checking it first. Whoop. After watching my um which one was it? The video where I climbed between the two cranes a few days ago. The sound is so good. After I put this little wind protector on, the sound is just beautiful. I'm so happy I finally got that sorted. That was one of the main reasons I used to just make short videos of music is because it's usually pretty windy up in these places and nobody wants to listen to wind noise <sighs> nearly there I feel my biceps burning another one of these things just go around these are getting a bit slippery now for some reason I'm starting to feel starting to feel a bit of grease so close the sun has gone but the light has not when you're climbing stuff you need to be careful of lumps of grease there's for some reason there's just random clumps of grease most of the time be aware you put your hand in it feels like bird poo and then you try to wipe it off and you're like no it's gross i'd rather stick my hand in bird poo to be honest look at it disgusting now i'm starting to get squashed by these bad boys guys have been going crazy on my Instagram since I plugged it a couple days ago getting thousands of new guys over there so awesome how my snapchat it's going mad you guys are mad I had like 5,000 new snapchat ads overnight when I put that video out and my views just went up so much okay this is extremely sketchy how do we get there? I want to get there. There's nothing below me. This cable is disgustingly greasy. There's no more footholds I could get. Okay, I've got an idea. I hate these little seat things. If I get around here. Grip in there. Good. 
Are you good? Yes. Yes. Whew. Oh. Done it. Oh. oh. I am exhausted. Bye bye to the sun. Mad. This is epic. This is epic. Definitely one of the coolest ones I've done um, while I've been here. Oh. And relax. Oh, look at that. I would love to stand on the top of that goals isn't it crazy how there's so many cranes there's so many buildings finished and unfinished there's just so many the problem is is that a lot of them work they seem to just work 24 like 24 hours a day seven days a week like the time now is what 6 30 there's still people going up in that lift these cranes like a lot of the cranes are dead like aren't moving but there's still hundreds of workers at the bottom so it's it's just impossible to get to it while i'm up here i just want to say a massive thank you to all my new subscribers in the past few days i've had like over 10,000 new subscribers which is just insane <sighs> but i'm so glad that so many people are enjoying my new videos like this whole new style of, of content is I'm learning, I'm learning, uh, but I'm really enjoying it. It's so much more enjoyable than just making the two or three minute cuts to music. Like I don't enjoy those anymore. I wanna be able to take you guys with me for the whole journey. Cause I know you like to see it, like sneaking in, climb all the way up, exploring the apartments and all the little crazy things that we find on the way. And then enjoying this moment with me at the top, taking it all in and then begin the journey down. Ah, oh, I think I should probably go. Let's get this back on. It's getting dark now. I'm gonna start heading down. The wind's picking up quite a lot as well. Don't know if you can hear it. Hopefully you can't hear it. Eyes lighting up. So cool. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh no. Okay. This leg in here. This arm in here. Straddle. This leg out. I wonder how GoPro looks in this light. No idea, something like that. Big one. No, it's big one. That wind is coming in really fast now. That is awesome. That's a 
good picture right there. I've just changed a few settings of my GoPro to make sure you guys can still see because it's really dark now. This crane doesn't have any lights on. Well, it does, but they're not on. Uh, so I've taken the frame rate down from 60 to 30 just to let a little bit more light in. It shouldn't make much difference to you. I want to get down before it gets too dark so I can jump back across. Otherwise, I have to climb down all those ladders and climb up the stairs and it's just not what I feel like doing right now <laughs> hopefully I can just jump across quite easily man I'm sticking to this thing like glue I've just got all the grip I can ever want it's like it's it's almost like it's covered in grip tape I reckon one day somebody's gonna take all my groans <laughs> from all of my videos and make like a James Kingston groan compilation where it's just me going ah. uh, 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 uh. Oh, that's what I seem to be doing a lot while I'm up here this bit Ooh, sketchy um, where are we at? there we go I don't like this thing I do not like it Fingers in here, stay close. And step down, there we go. Nearly there. I'm busting for a wee, man. Oh god, I love what I do. I love this stuff, man. It's so fun. Look at that. Just being able to move, just having the freedom of movement is just such a... Oh, it's just an awesome thing. Tell you what, if I, if I go too long without moving, without climbing, without jumping around or just doing some kind of fun form of exercise I just get so depressed man it's important to stay active and that's one of the things that I'm trying to encourage people to do with with my videos it's like I get I get a lot of stick for climbing stuff because people are like oh you're just you're just encouraging kids to go out and climb but like kids aren't stupid well some kids are stupid but most people aren't stupid enough to just go out and climb a 200 meter crane like people it's it's natural instinct to not just go out and do something like this because your body is isn't prepared for it you know like you're scared you're scared for a reason but you can you can definitely eliminate that fear that's what i've done and now i'm in a position where i can do things like this with relative ease because I've I've practiced quite a lot like I'm not I'm not bragging it's just if you put time into something you'll get better at it no matter what it is apart from like flying or something like that because we don't have wings but like <laughs> but yeah I don't want people to go out and try this kind of stuff I just want people to go out and explore and do stuff figure out what they enjoy figure out what makes them happy and do it This is not as easy as I thought, slash hoped. Um, problem is, is it's dark. If it was daytime, it'd be different because the depth perception and everything's still there, but now it's, it's kind of gone. And I'm not one for taking, well, I'm definitely one for taking risks, but not, like there's a limit. There is a limit to how crazy we should be. You can be crazy but sensible. It's like the perfect combination. Right, so 
and I've had a look. This is just not good to jump off. First of all, it's slanted. Second of all, it's covered in a layer of dust like I thought it was, like it usually always is in Dubai. Oh well, let's just go the way we came. It's good enough, it just means I gotta go up those bloody stairs again to get my bag. I'm so ready for a drink. My bottle of water is just screaming my name. Okay, this is it, last one. And then we can begin the escape. I like these beams that overhang. I think you lot do as well. Well, you like watching it at least. Do -do -do. Security guard still down there. Dark, dark, dark. Whew. I'm exhausted. Look at me, I'm covered in shit. Head to toe, dust. They call me Dust Man. I've just been sat up there for like an hour or two, taking pictures, getting some cool time lapses. Uh, I think I got a, um, a picture that I might turn into a poster. For those of you that don't know, I currently sell posters on my website. I'll put a link, you can go check them out. I appreciate any of you that do buy stuff from my site. It helps me a lot, it keeps me going. How many have I got? What are we on? 43rd floor, bloody Nora. Let's pick up the pace. It takes so little energy to get down, but so much to get up. I love running downstairs like this. Two steps at a time. Second floor. Now I need to be sneaky. This is the most risky bit, I think. Just hope there's no cameras. to be aware of my shadow. Sweet. Let's move. You probably can't see much right now, but I'm just working my way through the site, back to where I got in. I can't wait till action cameras like the GoPro can see as good as like A7S 2s in the dark. That is the dream. The Sony action cam is good. Like it's way better than the GoPro in terms of quality and low light performance, but it's just the wrong shape. It's just such a shit shape. But if I were to use the Sony, it would have to go like on the side of my head, which I don't like the look of. So until then, GoPro it is. All right, this is where I came in. I just need to make sure there's no one on the other side. This fence is falling apart, dude. Get it. There we go. We are out. There it is. Goodness me. That was a mission. Look at me, I'm covered in shit. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed joining me on this adventure. So much fun, so much fun. And I'm loving these frigging long videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It is the best way to let me know that you enjoyed it. So hit the like button. And if you're new here, subscribe for more adventures like the one we've just been on. Uh, thank you for watching the video and I will see you in the next one, probably in a couple days. We shall see. Doo -doo -doo.